Muskies and walleyes. They inhabit an awful lot of lakes and water systems in the center of North America. Did you ever wonder how they get along down there? You're going to see what I see. You know, sport fishing is really unique amongst all sports. Uh, it's because you can't really see what's going on down there in most situations. So it's sort of like religion and politics in that regard. But uh, with the fishing, I can help you out with uh, an underwater camera and scuba equipment. I can kind of, I can kind of show you what's going on. You're on your own for the other two. <laughs> Encounters were filmed in the Niagara River, and a question on my mind is, are these unique to the Niagara River, or does this occur everywhere? I don't know. Is it a symbiotic relationship? I don't really know. I don't know how the two fish benefit from each other, but it's a question that ran through my mind. It's hard for me to sit here and tell you that a muskie will never eat a walleye. We all know stories where walleyes were being fought to the boat, a muskie will come up and grab it. And we all know stories where you pitch out a bucktail spinner and a muskie hits the head. It doesn't happen often enough for me, but it happens. So it's hard for me to sit here and tell you that these muskies are real discerning or real smart. So all I can really do is show you up instances that I was fortunate enough to record and let you make your own assumptions. Mm -hmm. 